Hello, I'm Steele O'Callaghan, Director of Career Services. This video is designed to help you determine if you should use an objective and or summary section, and if so, how to include them effectively. Some people view resumes as a listing of what they've done. If you believe that a resume is just a listing of what you've done, an objective is not necessary. However, I believe they are much more than that. They are marketing pieces that help employers understand what you have to offer in relation to the type of work for which you are applying. Whether you choose to include an objective on your resume, it is much easier to write a resume with an objective in mind, guiding what you do and do not include. If you feel your objective is easily understood based on your major and or experiences, you may choose to omit the statement. However, in most cases, employers don't know what you're looking for if an objective is not included. Some people choose to omit the objective because they don't know what they're looking for. If that's you, schedule an appointment with a career counselor. We'll help you figure it out. Objective, objectives should be short statements that include what type of work you're looking for and a few of your key skills. Internship objectives can include the skills you would like to get out of the internship. Summary section sometimes called the summary of qualifications or highlights of qualifications section are optional. The summary serves as an outline that the rest of the resume backs up. Though it is hard to write an effective resume without an objective, summary sections, when done well, add value rather than direct the resume. They are most effective for two types of student job applicants, those with clear goals who want to provide an overview that crosses experiences and those having trouble developing an objective want to provide an overview of their qualifications for employers to determine where they fit. If you choose to include a summary, include three to five statements summarizing your qualifications. The statements can be formatted in short paragraph or in bullets. Bullets are easier for employers to read. Summary sections should not repeat what will appear later in the resume and should not be attached to any one experience. Those should appear with the experiences. Overall, objectives and summary statements add focus or purpose to your resume. If you're looking in more than one area, have different versions with different objectives and or different summary sections. If you're struggling to define your goals, Career Services is here to help. Make an appointment with Jane Doherty or myself. You can schedule through GCU Career Link. In addition, if you'd like Career Services to review your resume, you can email us at careerservices at georgian.edu. Also, if you're looking for sample resumes, including objectives and summary sections, check out the Georgian Court Blackboard Organization site. I hope this was helpful. Look for additional videos on topics such as career decision making, resume writing, interviewing skills, and job hunting on the Career Services website. Thank you. Have a nice day.